Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn how to create viral short videos like this. Hey history buffs, here's an amazing fact about the legendary Shivaji Maharaj. These kinds of videos are going viral all over the internet and accounts posting them are gaining thousands of followers within months. Make sure you pay close attention because I will show you step by step how to create videos like this. So sit back, subscribe and let's get started. Now the first thing we need is a script. I'll use ChatGPT for the script. I'll simply ask ChatGPT to create a YouTube short script on interesting facts you didn't know about Shivaji Maharaj. And as you can see, it has generated a scene by scene script and also suggested what images to use. Next, we need to generate the voiceover for the video. For that, we'll use 11 Labs, which in my opinion is the best AI voice generator available. Make sure you sign up using your email ID to get free credits. Once that's done, you will see an interface like this. You can paste the script here and from here, you can choose the voice character. I will choose the most popular AI voice for this video, but you can choose the one you like. Next, copy the script we generated earlier from ChatGPT and paste it here. Then click Generate. Once you're happy with the result, click Download. Now do this for all the scenes. And remember, you can regenerate a voiceover if you don't like it. Now we need the most important part of the video, images. We will use Leonardo AI for generating images as it's a great free alternative to Midjourney. Make sure you sign up using your email ID to get some free credits to generate images. Now for the image prompts, I'll go back to ChatGPT and ask it to generate image prompts based on the scenes. And just like that, your image prompts are ready. Now copy the prompt and go back to Leonardo AI and click on generate new image. Then paste the prompt. Make sure to make necessary changes to the prompt according to the script. Don't just blindly copy and paste. After that, ensure Albedo Base XL is selected and hit Generate and wait for it to generate. Once done, select the image you like and download it. Now do the same to generate all the images and make sure to check the prompt before clicking Generate. Now we need the image of a narrator. For that, we will use Lexica Art. The best part about this platform is that you don't need to generate the image. You can just search for already generated images. Once you are in Lexica, you need to search for the image you are looking for. Now you can choose from all the available images. If you like a particular style of an image, you can click on it and then click on explore this style to get similar images. Once you found the image you are looking for, you can download it. Now let's animate the narrator. Keep in mind that you don't need to animate the narrator for the entire script. You can just animate the parts of the video where you will show the narrator, which in this case will be the beginning and the end. For the animation, we will use topdop.com. After you sign up using your email, you will get 10 free credits. Once signed in, you will see an interface like this. From here, go to AI avatar and select new avatar. Then upload the image from here and upload your audio from here. And finally hit generate. It will take a bit of time to generate. Once it's done, preview it and make sure everything is okay. Then hit download. Now repeat this process to animate the parts where you will use the narrator. And now it's time to put everything together and create the video. We will use Microsoft Clipchamp for video editing. It's really easy to use, completely free and also a great alternative to CapCut. Once you are in Clipchamp, upload all the images, animations, and voiceovers from here. Next, drag and drop the voiceover and the narrator animation for the first scene. Make sure to mute the audio for the animation as we have already added the voiceover. Now let's add some images in between according to the script to make it more interesting. I'll drag and drop this image and place it between the animation. Make sure you add the images according to the script. Don't just add any random images in between. Now let's add a transition between these two clips. To add a transition, go to the Transitions tab and select the one you like. There are multiple free and premium transitions available. Simply drag and drop the transition you want between the clips. To adjust the duration of the transition, go to Transition and change the timings from there. Now let's add some effects to the clips. To add an effect, go to the Effects tab and select the one you want. You can also make adjustments to the effect from here. Make sure the effects are subtle. And remember, you don't need to add effects to every clip, just where you feel it's necessary. Now keep editing the rest of the scene. Don't forget to use proper transitions and effects when necessary. Make sure not to show one image for too long as it makes the video boring. Try to add as many images as you can to make the video interesting. The more effort and creativity you use, the better the outcome will be. Once you are done with the editing, it's time to add eye-catching captions. You can automatically generate captions from here, but in my opinion, it's not that good 
and there are no customization options available. So I will show you a quick way to generate eye-catching captions. First, go to the content library and look for a green screen. Next, add the green screen to your timeline, then stretch it to fit the entire video. Adjust the size to cover everything and then export the video. Now for the captions, we will use a free website called Capwing. Go to capwing.com and sign up using your email ID. Then click on new video and upload the video here. After that, go to add subtitles and click on auto subtitles. Let it generate the captions. Once done, you can adjust the number of words per line according to your liking from here. And in this section, you can choose the caption style, font size and do all kinds of other customizations. After that, make sure you put the caption in the middle and play to make sure everything is okay. If you want to edit or change a certain word, you can do that from here. Once you are satisfied with everything, click on export, then select the resolution and click on export as MP4. Let it process and once done, download the video. After that, come back to Clipchamp and add the caption clip here. Then replace the green screen clip with the captions clip. To remove the green screen, select the clip, go to effects and select green screen. Now to remove the watermarks, click on it. Then select crop and cut the watermark. Adjust the position and the size of the caption and you are done. To remove the watermark from the animations created with TopTop, just adjust the size of the clip until the watermark is no longer visible. And finally, the video is ready. Now all you need to do is export the video. And now let's see how the video looks. Hey history buffs, here's an amazing fact about the legendary Shivaji Maharaj that you probably didn't know. Did you know that Shivaji Maharaj had a secret weapon that wasn't a sword or a fort, but spies? Yes. Shivaji Maharaj had an extensive network of spies who provided him with crucial information. This network was so effective that he often knew his enemy. See how easy that was? I was able to create this video within a few minutes. Now imagine what you can do with a little bit of effort and creativity. Trust me, this is the best time to start a faceless YouTube channel. And I will keep showing you different ways to create engaging content. If you found this video useful, give it a like and don't forget to support the channel by subscribing. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer your doubts. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep grinding.